Trust me, you are going to have a very hard time. People say that MacBook doesn't hang. It does. I have experienced it. So guys, I got a new MacBook Air M1 recently and in this video, I'll be majorly dealing with the pros and cons or my experience because it's been already a month uh, using MacBook Air M1. So I have it here itself, okay? So you can see it's... Um, this is my laptop. This is really sleek and slim and sexy as you can, as you know already how MacBook Air M1s are, okay? And uh, for me to choose this specific color that is, uh, uh, this is gray, I guess, okay? Gray is because uh, the love for gray, first of all. Second of all, the other options which I had. First was gold, which is like completely no-no to me. And the second one was silver. Sil silver became very common nowadays. So I thought let's go for gray because gray is apparently my favorite color as well. Okay, so, so in this video, majorly I'll be telling you about my experience, my one month of experience because it's been a completely new experience for me because I've shifted from Windows to Mac this time. And whatever I'm going to tell you guys, this is this is all practical experience which I have got. All right, I'll, I'll not go into deep specification which generally tech YouTubers go, but I will definitely tell you practical experiences of mine, how and what problems or what advantages and disadvantages I faced. Guys, the video is going to be lengthy because I'm going to give you my insights, my real insights fine. So request you to watch the video entirely till the last. So first things first, uh, first point is uh, charging capacity, the battery capacity which MacBook has. Now, I want to tell you this, that charging capacity for my MacBook and charging capacity for a normal mobile is same which I felt because I used to charge this one and once in one and a half day or one day fine so the charging is so really 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 good fine I don't know what what how much is the capacity what mAh battery it has but you know uh, the battery backup is really good in this in this in this MacBook I felt if I use more of a MacBook app or uh, say software, say for example, any software which is present in the Apple store and I've downloaded it from there, say for example, all of their softwares, like if I use Key Keynote or if I use a normal surfing, Google surfing, then the battery backup is amazing, like crazily, it lasts long to me. But once I start using uh, something which is not of MacBook, say for example, if I have something cracked, so at that time, I feel, I felt that uh, the charging is not giving that much of backup, fine. And also if I use Final Cut Pro, I won't get that much of battery backup. Second point which I want to mention over here is Mac OS, the big sir which it has, fine, the operating system which is, it has. Initially, I admit the fact that in, in the first one, one week or five or six days, I was really confused to, as to what to do because it took me like half an hour or uh, half an hour to find where to change wallpaper also and it do not have my computer lot of things you know i so majorly uh, people who come from shift from uh, uh, windows to mac os tend to confuse themselves because they have a habit of uh, using windows uh, similarly to me right so this happened with me as well i found it difficult in the initial week i would say but later on eventually i got uh, you know habitual of the mac os Fine. But Mac OS on the other hand is really fast, really smooth. You really cannot go wrong with Mac OS. It's so buttery smooth, I would say. Fine. The touch response, uh, you know, that haptic feedback which the trackpad gives and the tactile feeling of keyboard. You feel that the, the, the machine is responding quickly as soon as possible for, from itself uh, to you, whatever you do. So that happiness, you know, that uh, there's no lag. Okay, there is no lag basically which I want to tell you with the Mac OS. So that is the second point which I liked. Third point is editing. Uh, the, uh, the computation power of a, of a, of a processor MacBook, or MacBook has. Uh, see, basically why I wanted uh, my MacBook was because of I was using Microsoft Surface Laptop for my editing. And trust me on this when I say that I couldn't have edited anything beyond 1.8, not 30 FPS, not 60 FPS, 30 FPS. So whatever video you were watching till now or before before 10 to 15 videos, uh, right? So all those were edited in my Microsoft Surface laptop and I only I know how difficult it was for me to, you know, edit in that because, uh, you know, the, the, the Surface laptop, the Wondershare Filmora, which I cracked on that laptop, uh, used to respond after five sec, five seconds or six seconds. And you can imagine in an editor's life, uh, if the machine is not responding to you really well, 
it it is it is a big of a task okay so i was really feeling uncomfortable using that fine so i took macbook air majorly for editing because i don't have that high end editing need uh, i don't have to edit in like 4k 33 layers even though this video is being shot at 4k 60 fps and i found i find it really uh, you know easy to edit uh, this video in my mac so editing is one of the one of the advantages which i found in macbook the fourth is connectivity so as you guys know that i have my apple iphone i have my airpods as well so the connectivity is very seamless so say for example if i'm using my mobile phone with my airpods like i'm using it to listen music and as like if i want to shift myself from an iphone to my laptop but i don't have to uh, remove my earphones it automatically detects it it will connect with the macbook so this is the seamless connectivity which i got in my macbook uh, so you know the ios uh, ecosystem which apple has built is really buttery smooth man like the connectivity is really 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 seamless and you don't have to have a hassle of uh, connecting this and disconnecting from here iphone and then connecting it from a macbook so this is this this is not done there so that i felt really good in in macbook or apple the ios next point uh, probably the last is the laptop looks really sleek and sexy man like literally it's very slim the battery capacity is very huge and it's the apple logo so this is really i found it really good because people do tend to ask you do you use macbook fine because um, of course the aura macbook has created so these are all the pretty good thing which i felt in advantages or pros you can say for macbook let's go for disadvantages okay now disadvantages is the way or is the thing through which you will decide whether you want to take it or not first disadvantage is a paid software now guys i'll tell you if you are coming from windows to macbook right even though cracking software was illegal but we were so habitual of cracking any software in windows because of the easy like because of the ease of cracking software in windows trust me you are going to have a very hard time uh, cracking soft softwares in ios it's nearly or i would say it's, it's it's very difficult for any noob who has shifted to ios to crack softwares fine i'll tell you one example i want to i wanted to use microsoft excel but i couldn't use i couldn't crack microsoft excel other uh, other than uh, without me having my official mail id from my college or my company it's very difficult for me to even crack microsoft excel or microsoft office for the matter of fact it's very difficult i am not saying it's impossible it is really possible but i am not taking risk at this time to crack anything because you have a lot of back doors you have to open a lot of back doors and then you want to enter those i just can't i don't want to at this time at least my laptop is in warranty i don't want to you know play with those things and all but cracking software is really difficult for you you have to rely entirely upon online stuff or say microsoft office you have online version also you have to shift on to that you have to compromise a lot in terms of softwares but whatever software which you have which which is running smoothly in or in in macbook that's crazily fast you don't have any issue which you face so the third or second point which i want to tell you is um, it's already been one month and i have already started feeling the use of uh, more more ports if i would say macbook on the other hand has only two ports that is type c what if i have type a what if i want to connect uh, you know external ssd or i can connect ex external ssd only if i have the connector this is one thing which i really felt bad about macbook that you don't have the option of uh, ports in in macbook fine so this is one thing next thing is it becomes expensive you have to spend a lot on macbook after you buy macbook fine so i have bought this macbook it at 64000 bucks right so um, how did i get this in another video so i am planning to make a different video in which i'll uh, break down my 64000 how did i got it for 64000 so watch that video okay so it's very expensive because see after buying laptop you have to go for dock which has all the connectors okay uh, all the ports you have to go for the back cover which around cost 1000 1500 which i have also taken i am showing you on screen uh, the dock cost around like 2.5000 to 3000 fine that is that is one thing these are the two essential which you have to take so this again will cost you around like 4000 bucks fine 2500 plus 1500 like uh, 4000 bucks it will cost and above that if you want to use some software say for example final cut pro i am editing my videos on to final cut pro at this time but that that's a trial version but eventually i have to buy it and that is like what 
that's a paid software right 30000 i have to pay which becomes very expensive for for most of the people so think about this this might be a reason for you to go back to windows but think about it like macbook will be for a long run and that final cut pro wala thing is also for one time and all this investment which you are making it on macbook is for one time and this will long last you very long okay so that is the calculation which i also made before before Next buying is um, battery drains faster for non mac uh, uh, softwares so this i felt i guess i have discussed in the previous also all right so now i'll tell you about myths okay myth people say that macbook doesn't hang it does i have experienced it i was using my final cut pro and i was editing my sikkim blog at that time so at that time i experienced uh, you know i'm showing you on screen as well so it's it's blocked or it 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 hang it frozen but my mouse was working i could do other tasks but my entire final cut pro screen was freeze frozen so it's not that my, my macbook doesn't hang it do but compared to windows it is comparatively really, really less so this is my pretty much experience guys i hope that you liked it and um, i wish you that if you want to take macbook then i would want you to watch that video in which i've shared the breakup of of the price which i've got fine so i hope that you got understood if you have any doubt you can definitely go into the uh, comment section comment section is yours and i would really want you to subscribe uh, hit that bell icon and also like this video and uh, i'll meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye